Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about modeling this comet here. Um, I believe it's a World War II jet. I don't know if it's saw combat or anything, but um, I thought it was pretty cool. And for people that are getting into surface modeling, this here is a very nice model to do that. So if you want to um, um, start surface modeling, I find this particular model here be um, ideal um, for, um, for that using formers. But um, yeah, but a lot of stuff on my channel that you see me do, I use a lot of forms and I've been using a lot of um, surface modeling stuff and form, uh, formers um, lately here. So what I'm gonna do in this video is talk about how I did um, this particular uh, model here. But first, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for rapid prototyping from 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, electronic PC board design and manufacturing. PCBWay has globally competitive prices and to get an instant quote for your project, sign up for an account and drag and drop your file. You will get an instant quote and two to three days you will get a firm quote. For your 3D printing needs or other rapid prototyping needs, check out PCBWay.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Now, like I said, if you're new to surface modeling and um, or just modeling in CAD altogether, and a lot of people ask me how I find my, um, my pictures that I use for this type of stuff, all um, um, the canvases here, all this kind of stuff like this. Um, a lot of people ask how I find this type of stuff. Now, if you watch uh, my videos on how I find uh, models, just go ahead and watch those. I explain how I find all my pictures and um, that I use to model from, and it's pretty straightforward um, from there. And then um, next here, let's take a look at sketches here turn the canvases off okay now these are all the sketches i use to um, model this jet and these are the former shapes here as you can see and if you watch any of my videos on um, surface modeling like my p51 etc on surface modeling you'll know how i um, um did these so I'll just do a quick little um, overview of that. So if you have your canvas, your, your picture of it here, what I did here is just sketch half of this. And once you sketch half of this, then I just move it with this uh, move copy. So let's say like um, the first one up here is F. Uh, you just create a sketch on this plane here and um, put a center line here. Then um, I used a three-point arc here to get rest of that. Then I have my first former there, and then you can um, finish that. And so that's going to go up here. And then to move that up there, all you do is um, click Move Copy here. And change this to Sketch Objects. Now, it's important that you select the right point, And you want this point here because we're going to move this. And this is a center line that all these other formers are based off too. And then um, you just move it to wherever you need it to be. And as you can see, I didn't select the center line here, so what I need to do is cancel this. And move that back there. And I need to select this line also. Oops, let me do that all again. Okay, first select this and this line here. 
Now I can move the whole thing wherever I want to. And then you just move it up um, up there. And once you move it there, um, then just come to the top here and just rotate it so you have it 90 degrees or um, 270. And then click OK, but I've already done it. And you do that with the rest of these as well. And that's how I put these in here, each one of these, the formers. And you just line it up where it needs to go. Um, and put it where it, it goes in here. And then, um, now this one, the front here, it did need some um, guide rails to get it to the right, the right spot. So, so for this particular thing, lofting, if we loft from here, let me turn some of these other things off. Okay, now I just lofted that piece there like that, as you can see. But we turn on the canvases. And now this looks okay from the side, but this doesn't look that great from the top here. Because this needs to come around here, and this is actually trying to go straight here. So what you need to do is add rails to this, guide rails, like I did. So we want to add them next. So we click here, all the rails that I did add. Now, that looks a lot better by adding those guide rails. And now, by adding this one on the top, as you can see, this sweeps in more like it should now. So when you're modeling, um, surface modeling, like this top one here, I added this to get that um, sweep, the curve in more like it should. And rest of these in the back that I um, lofted, these were fine for the shape that I needed. So if we loft those... Turn these off again. Okay. Then we have that in the back. And this one too. Then we have that, and that looks fine. Don't know what it did there, but um, it 
turn all these off again. Okay, and turn the sketches off so I can have a better look at this. And turn the canvases on. And as you can see, that um, the shape of that is fine. And it did not need um, guide rails here on the top and bottom or the middle section. This is fine. And this plane, um, the fuselage I did in two um, sections here, the front and the back here. Now, you can do it all in one section. And to be able to do that, let me cancel this. And if you were to do that all in one, all these rails that I've added here, um, so like the bottom here, all these that come up through here, all these rails, they would have to extend and touch each one of these formers back here. Because if they don't touch the former, it won't let you loft to it. So um, if you do decide to make this all one, then you would just, when you draw this line down here or this rail here, you would just have to extend it through each one of these points here and the top one through each one of these points as well, and then the side ones and um, touch each one of these um, also. But this here also, this is the spline cage of the jet. And as you can see, not a whole lot here to get the shape that we need it. And um, yeah. And also, let's see here, let me turn the bodies back on here and turn the sketches off. Now, as you can see here, we've got this nice blend through here, G1 through here. So if we turn the lines off by using Control 4, you can see it's a nice smooth blend. So if you uh, 3D printed this, you'd have that nice smoothness, that G1. into the fuselage and into the wing. And to do that, um, check out my video on um, surface modeling, how to blend the wing into a fuselage. That explains how I um, um, did this. And it's not very difficult to do. It's um, you know more surface modeling. And I'll do um, tell you quickly how I did that. So let's turn the sketches back on and turn the canvas on also. So what I did was draw or sketch this. Let me have a better look at it. I sketched this here on the center plane. And once I sketched that on the center plane, then I cut um, that out of the fuselage. So, let's see here. Turn that off, and I cut that out. The top and bottom. Now I can't find it again. <laughs> But um, there you go. And um, once I cut that out, then I put a plane here and then um, sketch the outer um, profile of that wing onto here, then loft it from here to here and use the G1 um, continuity for that. So 
this is it for the um, the plane here. And um, if you're new, like I said, if you're new to surface modeling, I think this is the ideal uh, model to surface model because it's not difficult to do. And you pretty much can get away with lofting one um, former to the next former. And like this one here to here, it's pretty simple. And um, what you're going to have to do with D, C, and B, just imagine a circle like this coming down through here, and then this is just extending round here. Just make this round. Because of this here, it's obvious you can't loft D to E. So when you make this um, round here, it lofts perfectly to this. And then the wings added to it um, later will um, give you the shape like this here. Let me turn these sketches off. And the canvas. Once you loft all that, it's going to give you that smooth um, continuity like you need um, for this. So, like I said, uh, watch my video on how to um, blend a wing into a fuselage. You can learn how to do that. And it's, like I said, it's not um, hard to do. And watch my video on how I do um, uh, windows. And that's not hard to do either like this. Now, this particular model, um, you can do this with forms also. But to be honest, I'm um, um, looking at this. This is, like I said, this is the ideal model to do um, surface modeling. This is um, really good. And um, if you guys want to see me show you guys how I um, model this, um, a video on this, how to do this, just let me know down in the comments. And if I have enough interest, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to uh, model this as well in um, Fusion. And you should be able to do it in the SolidWorks or any other CAD program also. And um, um, in my opinion, SolidWorks and, um, and Fusion 360 or... Um, um, out of those two, if you know how to use one, you have an advantage um, learning the other one because to me, SolidWorks and um, Fusion 360 are very similar. Even plasticity, it's um, very similar to just some different things you have to do to do some things. And um, so, yeah. But that's going to do it for this. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And I will answer them. And um, I avoid, I, excuse me, I invite you to join my Patreon site and my Facebook group. Go over there and have a look at things. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them there also. And um, a lot of people, and, and I um, will be gladly to help you out there. And also, um, I think I told you guys in my last video, I'm trying to make this my full time job here. Um, is teaching you guys how to model these airplanes in, um, in CAD here. So um, if you can support the channel just by subscribing, go ahead and do that. That would be great. Also, if you can support the channel through um, Super Thanks down below or over on my Patreon site. So, yeah, so go over there and have a look at everything. And um, if you can, go ahead and join or the least little thing. Just go ahead and um, subscribe to the channel. And so, yeah, but anyway... That's going to do it for this video, and we will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.